Yeah, yeah, yeah. Time to come up, hold my own weight, fit my crown. Got to lock it down and when they rush, part two. Cocaine, whiter now. Operation is sweet. Whole game tighter now. Moving the brick a week. Plus a nigga prices down. We the niggas to see. Time to start to get rising now. I don't know what's wrong with Bleak, it seems. I'm like Keenan, picking up. Hey guys, how's it going? I have a long overdue Nintendo DS update for you. Some of these games I actually received for Christmas, so that should be some type of indication of how long uh, it's been since I've done an update on my Nintendo DS. But uh, all of these games I picked up recently, and hopefully uh, I don't I don't have any mixed in here that I've already shown. If I do, oh well, and hopefully I'm not missing out on any. I've tried to keep these separated from the rest of my games so that I could bring you an update. Uh, but anyways, let's go ahead and get into these games and I'll give you a, a brief rundown of each of them. Okay, so this first group of games here are games that uh, I just picked up randomly. Um, I was either looking for them or just decided to go ahead and purchase them. Uh, this one here, the first one is Peak Rose for the DS or Pick Rose, Pie Gross, I don't know, however you want to say it. This one here I did a little bit of searching for uh, because it's no longer in print so I had to look around for it and I actually found uh, a GameStop within like 30 miles of my house that had this and uh, it was the only GameStop that was even close that had a copy. The copy's brand new or it was brand new. Uh, it was sitting on the shelf. It was the last copy they had so obviously it had the stickers and everything on it. Uh, most of you are probably really familiar with this game. Uh, I would say it's uh, like a mix of Sudoku and um, you know just a puzzle type of game but uh, if you haven't played this game if you do have a chance to pick it up definitely pick it up it's well worth uh, the price if you can find it for a reasonable price okay this game here game and watch collection you also haven't seen the unboxing for it it's still sealed uh, like I said I, I have no desire to actually open and play these games but uh, for a free game that I got for just uh, you know filling out some surveys on Club Nintendo uh, I'm happy to have picked it up so I'll just keep it sealed for now Beautiful Joe, Double Trouble. I actually owned this at one time, back when I originally was collecting for the DS. And uh, when I got out of DS collecting, I had traded in some of my games, and this is one of the games that I traded in. But I picked this one up new on Amazon, uh, just because I wanted to really play it. I have really never got into the Beautiful Joe series, but uh, for most of you, you know enough about it. It's a platformer, uh, a lot of fun. And this game's actually a pretty good, um, pretty good game on the Nintendo DS, uh, for those of you who like platforming. Uh, picked up this game after doing some searching. I found it for uh, really a pretty decent price at GameStop used and uh, Definitely wanted to pick it up because it is no longer in print and uh, I like racing games on the DS especially these kart racing games Obviously Mario Kart is uh, the other title that's a lot like this um, and this is pretty much kind of a port of the N64 version. Uh, some of the cool features of this is that you can, you know, create your own custom tracks and whatnot. Uh, and it's got a little bit of different features as far as the vehicles and stuff. You can use, you know, fly around in helicopters and there's boats and whatnot. So um, a little bit different than Mario Kart itself, but, uh, you know, for an inexpensive price, if you can find it, it's worth, uh, it's worth getting. <clears throat> Next game is Rune Factory 2, uh, Fantasy Harvest Moon. Um, essentially, I just picked up this game because I really like the cover art for it. Uh, I needed another game to kind of add to my collection. Well, I didn't need another game, but uh, anyways, I, I you know wanted to add this to my collection. And uh, it's kind of a cool game. I mean, it's I haven't played a ton of it, so I can't give you a lot of details, but it is... Uh, like a, a hack and slash RPG with farming elements in it. Uh, most of the people who are interested in this are already familiar with the title, so uh, I don't think I need to go into a great amount of details. So the next group of games are actually games that I received for Christmas, and uh, I'll go through those quick. First one here, which has taken up a lot of my game play, you know, time recently, is uh, Might and Magic Clash of the Heroes. The cool thing about this game is, uh, for those of you who are familiar with Puzzle Quest, it's got some similar features in the fact, in the sense that it's an RPG with puzzle elements. Uh, but I would compare this game more to uh, Tetris than I would to Bejeweled, like you would with Puzzle Quest. Um, essentially, what you have to do is uh, you get a group of uh, party members that 
you use in the game on each level and uh, by stacking three on top of each other uh, they will actually form uh, a unit that's uh, capable of making an attack um, if you stack three in a row it actually creates a barricade and what you're doing is you're fighting against the enemies which are on the top screen and as you create a group that can attack um, and you attack the enemy if you if you make it through to the top of the screen you actually do damage to the main character that you're fighting against it's kind of complicated uh, I would recommend taking a look at gameplay footage but it is complicated to describe uh, as far as the gameplay once you get into it it's a breeze it's a lot of fun definitely a game that if you liked Puzzle Quest um, and you enjoyed that title this is a game that you should check out it is done by Ubisoft which I uh, have a tendency to be kind of iffy on their games but this is an awesome game this next game here, Puzzle Quest Galactrix, as you can see, it's still got like the shrink wrap on it. Um, I just kind of wanted to pick up this title. I never really got into the first Puzzle Quest, and I heard that this one's not as good, but I wanted to pick it up because it was inexpensive. Uh, it was a game that I just told my wife to get for me for Christmas, and uh, because of that, you know, I, I have it now in my collection. Um, I can't go into details because I haven't played it yet, but... Uh, you know, puzzle quests, you're all pretty familiar with that. So, uh, Here's another game that I just, on a whim, I told my wife to pick it up. We were uh, out shopping for Christmas gifts, and uh, this was at uh, Best Buy. It was like $15 or, or maybe $10 around Christmas time. Viva Pinata Pocket Paradise. I heard it's a pretty good, um, the translation to the DS, which is not like a port. It's actually its own title, but I heard that it's... It, it's really well done for a DS game and uh, the graphics look really good I haven't had a chance to play it yet um, but I'm sure that once I you know get a chance to get into it I'll, I'll be hooked kind of like I was with the original Xbox 360 title <clears throat> here's another game that I kind of held off on because I knew that I would get it for Christmas uh, and that is uh, Professor Layton in the Diabolical Box I still need to finish out the first Professor Layton um, if you know if you can believe that or not it, it this series is an incredible series a bunch of you know brain teasers um, that you you know you go through the game and you're solving brain teasers to eventually solve the uh, the game itself and to reveal different things um, I love the original game and I heard that this is more of the same uh, but like I said I have to finish that first game before I can actually jump into this so um, you know, most of you have already played this or uh, are pretty familiar with it, so that's it. And uh, the final game is Brain Age 2. Um, why did I get this game? Because this really isn't necessarily the type of game that I usually add to my collection, but the reason why I got it is because if you ever want your wife to get you a video game, uh, you know, just tell her that, you know, the, the video game will help improve your memory. I mean, I just kind of used that with my wife, and I told her, um, you know, she was saying something in regards to um, me not playing the original Brain Age anymore, and that's because I don't have it in my collection, but I told her, you know, yeah, pick up, you know, Brain Age 2 for me, and she ended up just picking up for Christmas. I thought she would get it before Christmas, uh, and that was just, like, my ploy to get her to buy me a video game was to tell her that this would probably help my memory. Um, but I ended up getting it for Christmas, uh, and, you know, I, I'm interested to actually get into it and play it a little bit. I did enjoy the first Brain Age. Uh, I just didn't, I haven't played it in a long time, and I don't have it in my collection anymore, so uh, I figured I would add this to my collection. So, anyways, uh, that's it. Thanks for watching, and I'll talk to you guys soon.